a patient's stomach has been experiencing delays in its ability to empty its contents. The patient also has a compromised vagus nerve. Which of the following recommendations is most likely to be given to this patient? A. The patient will be recommended to consume two to three large meals a day. B. The patient will be recommended to avoid consuming a high amount of fiber. C. The patient will be recommended to consume mineral water at least once a day. D. The patient will be recommended to consume a high amount of fiber. So let's highlight our key words of stomach, delays, empty its contents, and recommendations is most likely. So let's start with A. So given the info in the question, the patient seems to have gastroparesis, which is characterized by delayed or absent gastric emptying. And actually a damaged vagus nerve is also part of what could indicate the presence of gastroparesis. So considering this, it's generally recommended for gastroparesis patients to actually eat smaller, more frequent meals rather than large meals, since large meals can exacerbate symptoms. So this answer choice of recommending to consume two to three large meals a day is not correct. We can eliminate it. How about B? So high fiber foods can actually slow gastric emptying and end up increasing the volume of undigested material in the stomach, which can make symptoms of gastroparesis worse. So patients with delayed gastric emptying are often advised to limit high fiber foods and avoid consuming a high amount of fiber. So, considering this, this very much might be the correct answer. So, let's bank this answer and move on to C. Hydration is important, but mineral water contains carbonation, which can actually make gastroparesis symptoms worse. So, this should not be recommended for this patient. We can eliminate this answer choice. How about D? So high fiber intake is not recommended for patients with gastroparesis because it can actually slow down the emptying process even further and make symptoms worse. So we can eliminate this answer choice as well. That leaves us with B, and that is indeed the correct answer.